Good morning, it is a new vlog. I actually haven't even uploaded the series of, or the vlog that I filmed before this. And I should probably get on that because now I'm starting a new one. <laughs> but it is now July. That um, first vlog that you will hopefully have seen before this one was filmed kind of like end of May, first week of June, I think. Um, so yeah, now we're into July and nothing really much has changed. We're still staying mostly indoors but we are venturing out a little bit more. Things have started to open up a little bit more, but I'm still very cautious about where we go. Um, I try to avoid crowded areas, so if we do go out, I go first, first thing in the morning or as soon as they first open. And it's a little bit harder to avoid crowds, I guess, because some stores have obviously limited hours and they open later in the day. So let's say the bay, they open at 11 and by 11 i feel like most people are up anyway so they're going to the stores if they were open the regular time which was probably like 9 30 10 if i go first thing it would be dead because no one wants to get up that early <laughs> anyway that has just been my experience um, but like i said we have been venturing out a little bit more very cautiously of course and we're always wearing a mask chloe obviously cannot wear a mask because she is a baby they don't recommend masks for anyone under the age of two or if um, they don't have the wherewithal to like remove the mask if they need to so when we do go out and it's been like i think we've only really gone out with chloe three or four times in like the last four weeks when things have started to open up again. Um, I always carry her in the carrier, which I mentioned I think in my last vlog. Just because the stroller, I, it invites people to come and like peer over and um, if she's in the carrier, she's really close up to the body obviously, so people aren't getting in her face and obviously maintaining um, physical distancing. Today is actually a very exciting day because I am going to be getting a haircut. Um, my hair, I haven't actually gotten a haircut since last July. So it will be, no, probably since last May. So it'll be over a year since I got a haircut. If you might remember, um, my hair probably last May was like this length-ish. And uh, this is how much it has grown since then. Um, I was supposed to get a haircut actually last July, but I had to cancel it because I went to the Philippines for a week with my mom. And um, I also found out that I was pregnant and fatigue hit me really, really hard. So all day long, I would just want to like obviously lay in bed, but I was working. So as soon as I got home from work, I would just be like in bed. I would take like a two hour nap as soon as I got home, eat dinner, and then like immediately go back to sleep. So it didn't really leave a lot of time for haircuts. <laughs> so, and then I kind of just kept pushing it off because then I got, once I got over the fatigue phase, I was like putting myself into work and I was really busy with work. So I just never got around to rescheduling it. Um, so yeah, today will be the first haircut that I've gotten in a little over a year, which I'm looking forward to because one, I have lots of split ends and two, my hair is a little bit longer than I would like it to be. Um, I think my ideal length is probably like this length um, only because especially in the summertime you know at this with my hair this length my hair is always up anyway because it's really warm um, plus Chloe loves to pull and tug at my hair so I feel like if it's a little bit shorter then it's a little bit of a harder reach for her <laughs> Plus, I feel like this is like a really nice manageable length. I can still put it up. I can still curl it really easily and um, yeah. So I'm in the process of packing um, the stuff for Chloe. So this is my stuff, which is very minimal. And then yeah, this is just the beginning of Chloe's stuff. I still have to get her an extra outfit. I bought some of her toys, um, you know, something to wipe her drool. <laughs> it's a process. I managed to finish my makeup, and by makeup I mean my brows, and I put a bit of concealer and a bit of mascara on before Chloe woke up. So usually after her nap, we do a little bit of playtime. Um, I do some playtime where I'm like heavily involved, and then I leave her for like some independent playtime. I don't leave her, I just kind of like let her do her own thing, and I just kind of sit off to the side. Um, because she is a roller now, she can roll from her back to her front, but um, not yet from her front to her back. Um, I've only seen her do that one, but she is a regular, well, semi-regular back 
to front roller so you really have to keep an eye on her and it also means that we can no longer let her nap wherever she always has to nap in her bassinet or in her crib before um, when she was basically a log um, I would like set her in the middle of our bed and let her nap there and um, I mean I'd, I would always be in the room anyway but I wasn't concerned that if I like looked away for a minute she'd be like on the floor <laughs> but now she has to nap where there are four walls to keep her enclosed <laughs> hi Chloe are you having fun are you having fun are you excited to see Lola hmm are you excited to see Lola yeah yay so in case you're wondering where Chloe's outfit is from, her top is um, the onesie, but it's uh, from H&M. It's like a cute like little eyelet print and her shorts, she's wearing shorts also, is from H&M. So she is um, a little over four months old and oh wow, my face is really shiny because I did not put powder on because um, it just gets all over the mask and it's kind of gross. Um, but um, yeah, she's over four months now and um, she's definitely getting more interesting i mean she interacts now and she kind of does like little babbly chats and she grabs things and she rolls although it does mean it's harder to entertain her and also you have to watch her like a freaking hawk <laughs> isn't that right she can't sit up on her own yet um but i'm actually looking forward to that because man is she getting heavy she's like 16 and a half pounds traveling with a baby is not easy and um it's also made me late for pretty much anything that I've had to go to <laughs> since we've had her um, but we are pretty much set we have Chloe in her car seat I have her bouncer her bag and then my bag we're on the way to my parents house and it is 9 55 and I meant to leave at 9 45 so not too bad I did forget to do one thing before I left which is change Chloe's diaper I meant to do it so she would have a fresh diaper when she's at my parents house but I'll just have to change her when we get there okay I've dropped off Chloe I'm headed to my haircut get it to get my haircut <laughs> wow um, okay so my haircut is done and um, yeah so this is the length that I went with I like it um, they actually didn't wash my hair which is a good thing good thing I washed it last night because I anticipated they weren't gonna wash it even though they didn't say they weren't going to but they told me they weren't gonna blow dry my hair so it's like well they're probably not gonna wash it either um, anyway so yeah she cut it dry um, which is nice because then she gets to see like the full texture of my hair obviously um, because my hair kind of like does weird waves in some areas and you know it should really pin straight in other areas it's really bizarre um, yeah so this is the length that I went with very nice it's like a little bit past my collarbone um, I asked for a little bit longer at the front than it is at the back so it doesn't have like have a kind of like an I don't know like a weird shape at the back <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I've been home for a few hours now. Chloe and I were just having some playtime, and then she's having her like late afternoon nap. I gotta go get the diapers that we washed today out, bring them in from outside, because we actually, um, since it's summer, we just dry them outside. The cloth diapers that we bought, I don't know if it's the same for most cloth diapers. Um, this is the only brand that I've tried. It's from Little Helper, but we always, um, line dry it we never put it in the dryer except for the bamboo inserts which are these like white inserts um all of the shells and also the liners the charcoal liners we always just line dry and when it was not summer we would line dry it inside but since it is summer we line dry it on our back deck which um obviously is really convenient and easy because it dries much quicker good morning it is monday morning and it's been uh, a little over a week since um, my last little clip um, where I got my hair cut. In case you're wondering what's on my shirt, um, it's Chloe's drool. <laughs> um, anyway, my mom actually stayed with us this past week and uh, yeah, I didn't really vlog at all. Um, anyway, it's Monday and I am very sleepy. Um, this one did not um, have a good night's sleep. At one point she started sleeping longer stretches. She would only wake up once to feed and then she'd go back to sleep. But the last week or so, she has been getting up a lot more. And last night was probably the worst night since she was a newborn um, when she couldn't get back to sleep for about like two hours. Like she would 
fall asleep and then wake up maybe 10 minutes later and then she would fall asleep again and then wake up again like a few minutes later so it's probably on and off like that for like two and a half hours so i was up pretty much most of the night and uh yeah i'm really really tired um bo and i have kind of the system because he is still working albeit from home where i'll get up at night in the middle of the night to um look after chloe and then so when she wakes up in the morning which is around 6 a.m the bow will take her and um, he'll take her till he has to go to work or start working which is about like 8 15 8 20 which usually leaves me like two hours ish to catch some sleep which i definitely needed this morning because yeah i was being a little bit of a grumpy pants so yeah my energy level is like really low today <laughs> and today's actually so my mom um, stayed with us for a week or so she went home yesterday so today is like the first day that um i have to be like a full-time mom <laughs> when my mom was here um i was like a part-time mom because you know my mom would like would play with her and um put her down for naps and things like that and uh yeah so today is like the first day i have to be a full-time mom and i'm super super tired my energy level is like really low <laughs> anyway don't know what we're gonna do today but uh yeah i'm gonna get some breakfast and uh, i'm gonna make a latte i'll be at decaf so chloe is falling asleep as you can see anyway i haven't had breakfast yet so while i hang on to her look how cute she is <laughs> Um, I'm going to figure out when I'm gonna have breakfast and I still haven't made that latte. Chloe! Hello! Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Did you guys know that Clarisonic is going out of business? I'm sure by this point you know because it's pretty much been everywhere but all of their devices and also their brushes have been 50% off. And my order that I placed on the Clarisonic website actually just arrived. So I'll show you guys what I picked up. I've always been a fan of Clarisonic, so I'm very sad that they are not gonna be in business for very much longer. I was really tempted to just buy everything and anything, but I thought to myself, actually, although I do really love my Clarisonic, I only use it once a week now. I used to use it regularly every single day, sometimes even twice a day. Um, but lately, probably over the last six to eight months, I've only been using it once, twice a week max. So I didn't want to buy 15 brush heads because what if my Clarisonic device doesn't even last as long as the brush heads that I have. Anyway, that was my train of thought. Despite there apparently being huge delays with the shipping right now with Canada Post, these actually got to me fairly quickly. I placed the order last week and um, it's been maybe like four or five business days. So I thought that was pretty good. So I got four of the cashmere brush heads because these are my favorite brush head from Clarisonic, the cashmere. They were getting really difficult to find there for a while, um, anywhere except for Clarisonic's website. So I picked up four of these and I'm instantly regretting not picking up more just because like I said, these are my absolute favorite. And then when I went to the website again the following day, they were all sold out. So I'm actually gonna give one to my mom because um, she also really enjoys the Clarisonic brush head or the cashmere brush head and then I also got this which is the 3d face sculptor. I have the Other version of this which is just like the face massager and I love to use that I use that um, Probably at least once a week. So aside from the cashmere brush, which I love my other favorite brush was the radiance brush but I think they discontinued that in favor of this one. So you can see it looks a little bit different. The other one was like almost like a rose gold sort of look, um, which yeah, that one was my favorite, but I couldn't find it on the website and I'm pretty sure they don't sell it anymore. But if I could find it, I would definitely pick up another one. I think I'm set for a while with Clarisonic brush heads. Um, I don't know how long these will last me, but like I said, um, I haven't had to replace my brush heads every three months in a really long time because I just don't use them that frequently anymore. But I do still love my Clarisonic and I'm very sad that they're no longer going to be making the brush heads. Hi Chloe, what are you doing? Are you looking outside? Hmm? Are you having fun? <laughs> okay.
I'll leave you to it, ma'am. Hello, it is, what day is it today? I feel like it's, oh no, it's Wednesday. Um, the bow, I know it's Wednesday because the bow is actually starting his vacation tomorrow, which normally would be a very exciting time because we would have been obviously planning a trip to actually go somewhere, but COVID, we might take a little road trip. I'm just like hesitant to obviously like stay at a hotel and to fly places because, well, COVID. It's 11 in the morning. I haven't had breakfast yet. So I'm torn between having breakfast now and then when to have lunch. So I think I'll just have like a brunch situation. I'm gonna make these um, pork and shrimp dumplings. I mentioned these a really long time ago, but these are our favorite store bought dumplings. Not even just this um, flavor, but this brand, which is KJ. You can get it pretty much at any grocery store nowadays, but they're super easy. They come in lots of different flavors, I guess. Um, we like the pork and shrimp and also the pork and something else. I think it's just like the pork dumpling. Anyway, it's delicious. We also have tons of um, ripe avocado. So I am gonna have that for lunch. So how I make these is one, I actually put a little bit of oil and then I fry the bottoms for a few minutes and then I add the water and then I cover it with a lid and just let it boil. So this is how they look. I wish they were a little bit crispier, but um, I had to um, cut the cooking time a little short because Chloe is being a bit fussy. Um, and then I just have some avocado. Also, in case you're wondering what I like to dip the dumplings in, um, this is my favorite. Good morning, it's Saturday and it's my mom's birthday today actually. Um, obviously, very limited in the things that we can do because of COVID. Technically, we can go to a restaurant, but we're still trying to avoid um, public areas as best as we can. Um, so instead, we're just gonna hang out at home. My mom's actually coming over and I have to leave in a few minutes to go pick up her birthday cake. I had it specially ordered um, because um, the bakery I went to has like this really great low sugar option for cakes. Um, they have like this really good like whipped cream kind of frosting with like low sugar and um, yeah, it's good. Anyway, I'm wearing like a proper, proper outfit for like the first time in six months. As soon as I get home from picking up the cake, I will be changing immediately into something else like a t-shirt and shorts because one, it's warm. Two, I like to wear something that I don't mind Chloe spitting up on. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna quickly just cleanse my skin and maybe do a little bit of makeup before I go. And then, yeah, I said I would pick it up at eight o'clock. It's obviously not a hard pickup time, but I wanna get there as early as possible. For makeup, I still prime and I basically just wear concealer and a bit of powder. Um, the primer I'm using is the Dior, which I'm trying to use up. I bought it a while ago and I was trying to use up another primer, the um, Tatcha Silk Canvas. So once I used that one up, I switched to this one. I figured out that the brow flick from Glossier has to be used on completely dry and makeup free brows. So I usually try to put it on before anything else, so after primer, but before a base. That is the only way I have been able to make this um, brow pen work. Otherwise, it just doesn't cling to my skin and it looks like I don't have anything on my brows. I don't know if you can tell, but the tip on this loses ink pretty quickly, so you have to shake it up pretty frequently. And then I just put a bit of concealer under my eyes. This is a Smashbox one. I have so much concealer, I haven't been wearing it, so I'm trying to make an effort to kind of just put a little bit on every day, just so that um, one, I look like a human being, and two, can use up my makeup. They've all been just basically sitting in my closet for the last like three, four months. I'm just about to head out, but this is what I'm wearing. Um, this uh, button down is from H&M, I'm pretty sure. And the jeans are Old Navy, and then I'm just wearing these for shoes. I forgot to show you guys the cake earlier, but here's like a little peek of it. Um, it looks so good. And yeah, it's a low sugar, um, icing, which is awesome. New espresso machine, our other one broke, so this is the same one, but new. 
Okay, so we've set up our espresso machine. I'm whispering because um, Chloe's having a little bit of a nap. So like I said, it's the same exact machine that we previously had. It's basically the most basic espresso machine. We just use it to make espresso and that's it. Um, so we didn't need really like a fancy one that like crushed your beans and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, and obviously it froths milk. But today I am going to be doing an iced latte. So the last time I was trying to make a latte that our espresso machine was totally kaput. Um, the frother was okay, but the actual espresso part was not working right. It um, wasn't uh, pushing the water through. I don't know, something must have been clogged. We hadn't used it in probably a year. We hardly used it last summer and then we ended up putting it away for our kitchen run out. So it was at least a year since it was actually used and I used it once and it was fine. And then the second time I tried to use it after uh, storage, it uh, just didn't work right. So we got the same one. I really like this one. I mean, it's really simple to use and uh, it works exactly the way you'd want an espresso machine to work. Anyway, the reason I wanted to do the ice latte is because during our kitchen run out, um, they put a water line for the fridge um, for our ice maker in our freezer. I think in my last vlog I mentioned that I don't have any ice cube trays. I was going to buy some, but then we remembered that the freezer line or the water line was there so our freezer could just make its own ice cubes. Um, so that's kind of a long-winded way of explaining why I wanted to make the ice latte. Basically because we have ice cubes in our freezer now and that's what made me want to do it. Also, yes, I'm in Canada, so our milk comes in bags, <laughs> which is what this container is. I forgot to do the pump of vanilla syrup from Starbucks. Um, so I just get the vanilla from Starbucks. It's like $12, $13, um, and you can just ask the barista for it if you're ever interested. They'll actually sell you any of their syrups, provided they have enough in stock. They don't sell the pumps though. I happen to have a pump because when Starbucks still had an online store, that's where I would get my syrups from and it would always come with a pump. So I happen to have like two or three extra pumps, but the store does not sell the pump. So um, you don't really need the pump, it's just kind of fun. So that is how I make my ice lattes in a nutshell, really easy. I was gonna put this in my color changing cup, but I wanted to kind of show you guys the effect. So I used the glass cup, but yeah, really easy um, and yeah, it's good. Hello, it's a bit of an awkward angle, but I am on a solo outing right now. I'm just, I need to return a pair of shoes at Aldo. <laughs> and um, I was gonna do it online, but then I already discarded all the packaging and I didn't wanna like find a new box to put it in and all that kind of jazz. So I'm just gonna return it at the store. So it should be fairly quick and easy. So in and out, no big deal but I have to prepare by putting my mask on. I just took my mask off and it feels really good to take my mask off. I feel like my face is a little bit red though. Um, I just made my return at Aldo. I also picked up one thing from Sephora. Man, it is not fun shopping for makeup anymore because you can't swatch makeup at all. I mean, it's very frowned upon. Well, it's probably store policy that you don't allow anyone. You can because no one's really like diligently watching, watching you. So if you want to like sneak a swatch, you probably could, but they removed all of like the tissues and mascara wands and all that kind of stuff so they do really discourage you from swatching I mean if you really wanted to be a rebel you could I was not a rebel so I wanted to pick up one of these Sephora jelly melts because I saw it um, on Aisha on the Sephora YouTube channel and <laughs> it's hard because you can't swatch it so hopefully it looks good I won't return it if it doesn't just I'll just still use it anyway um, but yeah fingers crossed it does look good though okay I'm home and I'm in my beauty closet and I am debating whether or not to move uh, my makeup into my bedroom or our bedroom only because I can't really access the space as much as I want to only because I can't really access the space um, Monday to Friday because the beau um, is working from home most days I think he's going to a two day in the office three days at home work schedule right now he only works one day in the office and four days at home. Yeah, since he's working in the office, which is where this beauty closet is connected to, I can't just like come in and out of here 
like I would normally do. So I'm debating whether or not to move that makeup so that I can, I don't know, do more content, I guess, during the week. Alternatively, I could just um, plan <laughs> my days better and then have all that stuff ready. But yeah, just something I'm thinking about um, because I think we might have to utilize this closet also for miscellaneous things. I think in my last vlog, I showed you guys how we still keep our ironing board in um, what is now Chloe's room in the closet there. So we're gonna obviously need a new home for that because it can't live in that closet forever. So just the kind of things I'm thinking about. But on a makeup related note, I wanted to try um, that new lip product I picked up from Sephora. So this is the um, Jelly Melt in Foxtrot. They have six, I think six shades. And again, so hard to tell what colors there are. I I did on the tester open it, open it up, but I couldn't swatch it. Or I, I technically could swatch it, but I didn't swatch it. And it's just so hard to tell what the colors are like. And then I even um, went on the Sephora app to look at the swatches that they have on the website but it's still really hard to tell. Oh my gosh, this has, mm, this has a very like fruity scent. What does it smell like? It kind of is a mix between fruit punch and um, bubble gum. Anyway, I'm gonna try it. Um, the reason I wanted to get this is because it is more like a stain than a lipstick or a lip gloss. So I can hopefully wear it comfortably under masks because I haven't really been wearing any of my lip products. Unless I know 100% I'm just gonna be outside for the most part. Um, I have not been wearing lip products because of the mask situation. Um, so I obviously don't want well, I don't really care if the lipstick gets on the mask because I wash those after every use anyway. I'm really just more concerned about the lipstick getting all over me and then me taking my mask off and being like... <laughs> anyway, let's try this. Ooh, I like this color. I think this is a good choice. I also really like how it feels. It's kind of like a... almost like a watery texture. It reminds me a little bit of... Um, I don't even know if they still make them, but the YSL lip stains, like the original YSL lip stains, they probably came out almost a decade ago, to be honest. Ooh, I like that. I even like that color. We'll have to see if it dries down though, because it's like pretty glossy right now. So definitely would not feel comfortable putting a mask over this, because I feel like it will smudge and get everywhere. But since I am just going to be inside for the next few hours, I am going to leave it on and then we shall see how it looks. Here is a little close up. Um, the color description of this on the website says beige, but it's definitely not like a brownie beige. It's more of like a peachy beige, if anything. 